Greetings, morning, all. This is your host, Grudge again with another video. This time, we're not looking at Fallout 4. We're doing something a little different. We're going to do a little bit of a playthrough of some City of Heroes, but mainly this is a character showcase. I'm going to highlight one of my heroes that I have, and yes, I suffer from alt-itis, so I do have quite a few characters, not anywhere near what some people have. Some people have 20, 30, 40. In fact, rumor has it one guy has 277 characters just on this server alone I play on the indomitable server so let's look and see what I've got and we'll have different character showcases on different days uh, you can see my first character I started here was a villain named Blackbeard's ghost a melee guy I've got a few characters here voodoo priest messenger of death Those he was a villain, but now he's a vigilante. Mop 4, it's a military term for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, in regards to protective outerwear to protect you from uh, radiation, chemical stuff, and all that. So that's kind of what his powers are. Inner conflict. Walden Man, I don't like his look. I'm going to change it at some point. Texas Tempest. I've got a tier 1 operator. Kind of a Ghost Recon Wildlands look for that guy. Time X. He's a robot that controls other robots. Time traveling robot. This is a placeholder right now, Major War. Because um, I want to kind of keep the name, though I played him for a while, but I decided to redo that guy as this guy, Major Storm, instead. Or War Storm, excuse me, not Major Storm. Major Storm was already used. I have Evil Dead, uh, Rocket Pop, uh, Ice Based Hero, Shock Blade, kind of a Wolverine Claw type of guy, but with single blade claws. Does electrical um, melee. I have Magma Burst, a Fire and Spines guy. Venomous Vixen is a uh, Arachnos Widow character I just started playing a little bit of. And then the highlight of today's creature, or character, excuse me, showcase, the Dung Beetle. So let's take a closer look at Dung Beetle, see him in action, and see what happens here. Alright, so this is the Dung Beetle in the sewers of Atlas City. You can see he's got spikes on his boots and his gloves. A little beetle symbol on his chest. A utility belt. Some spikes on his head. And that's his antenna and bug eyes and all that stuff, of course. So, the guy that invited me to join this group... This guy, Doc Manhattan, is floating off to my left. He has done a bit of recruiting, and we're almost full up to do what is called Death from Below. It's a low-level trial mission uh, that you can do over and over. And um, it's a, it's good XP for, for low-level, entry-level characters especially. It'll level you up to 20 pretty quickly. We're going to form up this group. And then we're going to go in and kill three different types of enemies. Hellions in the beginning, which are just fire-based kind of gang members. Then we're going to uh, fight the Vazalok, which are like undead and mad scientist doctor types and stuff like that, whatever. And then we're going to have the... Um, Then we're going to fight the the Lost, which are post-apocalyptic 
mutated guys with some psionic powers and stuff. And finally we'll fight these two big Hydra heads. Uh, they call them Hydras, but they're not in the traditional sense. They're just large heads in the at the end of the sewer. And we'll check in at various times and we can see the action with the Dung Beetle in action here. And while we're waiting, we're just going to get our jam on a little bit. And we're off. Time to get some action. So we can see the Dung Beetle in action. Oh. Boom. Yeah, take that. Criminals. Justice. And we're done here. We move on to the next group of Hellions. They're gonna finish him. I don't need to run over there. I'm over here because here comes the boss. my team or uh, the team for this adventure at least and here's where I'd go to for more training but I can see I need 6,582 more XP so I will move on Okay, so what this character does, by the way, is he uses street justice as his attack form. So it's a series of, you know, punches and kicks and stuff like that. It's all melee. He doesn't have a lot of fancy powers and stuff. They're just fast, uh, tough and effective punches and kicks, basically. And you know, see up here where it says combo level, he has set up attacks that do that increases combo level one two and then three and then he has finishing moves that he can use at any level and it'll re it'll reset him down to zero but if he does it when it's the combo level is at three it's much more effective and likely in many cases produces an ex extra effect also so you'll see his combo level go up and down, uh, uh, or I should say up and then back down to zero at various times. And that depends on whether I use a setup move or a combo move, or a finishing move, excuse me. And now we go take down the Lost Boss, and then this run will be almost over. All we'll have left are the Hydra Heads. Lost boss is this guy, the prophet. And now we're all concentrating on him. We've already taken out his ads, so now we get to we'll get to level up. I'll get to show you his powers, the powers of the dung beetle. So, like I said, he uses street justice as his primary attack power and bio armor as his backup. So, initial strike is a pair of lower damage, very fast recharge strikes. Heavy blow is moderate damage, fast recharge strike. Sweeping cross is a uh, finishing move. Or, yeah, it's a finishing move. So, it says what the, the effects are there. How it has a greater effect at higher levels when it comes in. Uh, it also does high damage, moderate recharge. This is a um, an opportunity to uh, increases to hit and damage 
for a short period of time. Then he has the Rib Cracker, which is another build up. It's a combo builder. It's moderate damage, fast recharge. And then I can choose from these others. I'll probably take Spinning Strike. And then as far as his armor is concerned, he has a Hardened Carapace. He has Inexhaustible. Um, environmental Modification. These are all increased resistances in, to different types of damage and things like that. Adaptation. And he has a Carapace that he can explode out of him, basically. Um, and absorb a lot of damage for him as well. And then he has the option of choosing different power pool sets and stuff now that he's, or once he got past fourth level and stuff. But I'm not doing that yet. I'm going to take Spinning Strike and be done with it. They've already defeated one of the Hydras, so we're going to go get there in time to get some punches in on the last one at least. See, it's already halfway down. So, that is a day in the life of the Dung Beetle, out fighting crime, doing his thing, or I guess now I should say it's a night in the life of the Dung Beetle. I know, the lighting's not very good right now because it's nighttime, but I think that gives you the idea, and until next time, sign it off. Take care.